day of vlogmas and I'm gonna explain my morning to you so I went for my tattoo appointment everything was fine I was sitting in the chair and he kind of changed my design a lot I wanted like the M from the Mariah Carey caution album and had it all planned out it was gonna be the M uh, like one of her songs playing underneath it and like the playhead as if like you're playing it on iTunes and like the colors of the caution album just ran into my teacher that was really awkward so I wanted that M design and he did it and he just kept changing it he, t he made the text too big and I had to take it all out and I still have the, the stencil and I just went listen this isn't for me you, like your work and my thing isn't coming together and the stencil is still on my arm and I'll show you in a second but first of all I need to go to class hello As you can see it right there. Okay everyone, so normally I'm in BFI until around 5 p.m. on a Saturday, but there wasn't really anything that we were doing at all. Like there was literally no point in me even coming in today and the main guy on it just went like, yeah, just go home. And it's funny because they were giving us the option whether we wanted to go home or stay and everyone literally just stood up and walked out. So, so did I. But if you wanna know what I did in BFI today, basically I went around to all the charity shops and different like vintage shops looking for clothes for the costumes uh, as I'm a, what's it called? Production design artist and editor. So my main job in pre-production is to find costumes, design how the set's gonna look, and in post-production is editing the final thing. So I had to grind and find costumes for the characters. And in that, I accidentally bought myself like three or four jackets, which I'll show you later. So I went home and dropped them off, and now I'm out again, going to more charity shops. Shops, not shots. And I am back. It is several hours later, and you know whenever you just feel like you're losing the day to the day? Like, time is going too fast, and you don't know really how to feel about it? That's where I'm currently at with today, so, you know. So as you can see, I've completely changed my outfit. I'm wearing my different little outfit, and this is for my brother's birthday. We're going to Belfast, so now if you don't understand the relevance of that, basically I'm from Derry, and Belfast is like an hour and a half, maybe two hours away. Now both my brothers live in Belfast, and me, my mom, and my dad live in Derry. Is it really an Adam McIntyre outfit if you don't tuck your shirt in? <laughs> this has become such a staple for me. So yeah, they're from Belfast, and uh, oh, I just remembered I need to like wash my hair again. I always like getting it damp just before I leave so that I can dry by the time I'm in Belfast. So yeah, uh, two brothers are studying down there, and the other just they both work down there basically, and then one of them studies down there. Um, and me, my mom, and my dad are just you know vibing in Derry, doing nothing. So, uh, yeah, we go down and visit them a lot, and it's his birthday. My older brother Josh, he's 25 or 24, can't really remember. Um, I got him the present, I'm gonna give him his Christmas present instead tomorrow, which means I might more money, yay! Um, I got him a cool moon pig card, and I think I'm just gonna serve with my outfit tonight. Like, I have this on, and then I'm gonna wear my jacket that I got, which I haven't showed you yet, but I may as well show you right now. So I love it so much. I think this looks so cool. Now I don't know how it matches with this outfit, but I really like this. And I've wanted one of these for so long and I got it in the charity shop for literally under five pound, which was so cool. And I think I definitely need to start getting a lot more of my outfits in places like that rather than just, you know, getting the environment to keep making more <laughs> production of clothes that we do not need um, and plastic packaging and stuff where I was able to get this without having to do any of that. So besides the point, um, why do I keep going on these little rambles? I need to find a belt. I have one right here. It doesn't really match whatsoever. Mm, that's an issue. I like to match. No. Is my room becoming a mess? Yes. Is it meaning to be? No. It's just I haven't got a chance and I will clean it tonight and you will see that. I will clean it because I'm getting stressed because of it. Is this belt okay? No, it's not. And here we have the final look. Now my hair is wet. It's gonna be drying by the time I get to there. This jacket, I just, I'm so in love with. I love how it feels. I love everything. Um, a white shirt and then my jeans. Not jeans, trousers. So we're gonna get in the car now, drive to Belfast, and then I will see you whenever we are there. But first, let me take a selfie. <laughs> no. I bought this and I didn't even show any of these. It's a, fr <laughs> it's a frozen advent calendar. Now, I'm gonna be doing this when we get back, but just know 
this is what you have to look forward to in Vlogmas. <laughs> okay, I love y'all. Let's go. Just had some nachos and they were like, and then like. <laughs> so for anyone who wants to know, this is my final look. Ta-da! Bathrooms and restaurants are so fancy. No one else is in here, that's why I'm filming. <laughs> I just love this jacket. One of the workers in here has huge lip filler lips, and it's a bite, you know? I bite with it. It just blows my mind how modern Belfast is now. Like, there's advertisements and stuff everywhere. It's just funny seeing somewhere, like, look like a really small version of New York. Like, I know this is not what New York looks like, but it's, like, the equivalent of what I'll see before I'm an adult. They have Justin Bieber's mugshot printed on the wall here. Right there. And we're back in Derry. Oh, Lord. So, currently, it's 35 minutes past midnight, and I just arrived back. We just drove back through the night. And I'm very full, but I promised I would do my advent calendar with you, so let's actually get started. I saw this in Poundland. Poundland. Yeah, it's probably gonna be shit quality. Frozen 2. If you're wondering why I'm like speaking softly, everyone around me is sleeping. Including my neighbours and their children, and I don't want to wake them up because I'm not that horrible. I may appear to be, but I'm not. So let me find one. This is exciting for you. Like, I haven't even watched Frozen 2, I just saw this one and was like, you know what? These always used to be so exciting as a child, but I feel like the older you get, it's like, you know, you're like, I need to grow up. Look how small that piece of chocolate is. Like, I know this is from Poundland, but like, come on. Look at the size of that. Compare that to my hand. Okay. Day one. Tastes really bad. Doesn't taste good. And there's a picture of Kristoff. Nice. Day two. Day seven's pretty generous. Mmm. Cheap chocolate. You know what it tastes like? You know those chocolate coins? It's probably the same cheap chocolate. I mean, if you look at that, we're pretty far into December already. Like, I should technically get the eight one out, but I don't eat any more chocolate, so. <coughs> I choked myself. Is it really an Adam McIntyre video if I forget to end it properly? No. So my little puppies are playing beside me, so that's what that noise is, and it's also 2 a.m. and I'm looking after them, so <laughs> I'm going insane. I'm sitting down here and I'm doing a lot of work, so that's why I forgot to end the videos, so don't come after me, I'm working hard. Even though I had my mental breakdown two videos ago and you're probably like, what? Like, I thought you said you were done all your work. No, it's only beginning. Now is the editing process. So because I'm production design, I have to look for all the different costumes, so I went to a bunch of charity shops, thrift shops, vintage shops, just whatever, to look for costumes, and I end up in the process finding stuff that I would like for myself, so I bought a couple of things, and I, the girl I was with, Rianne, um, bought a denim jacket for herself for £5, which was so nice. I got three jackets for under £13 in total, and they are so nice. I love jackets. Light, come back on. <laughs> I know, Mac, you want to go to bed, so do I. But it was just a really fun day, and as time goes on in my second media course, I'm getting closer with the people, and it's nice having friendships in different parts of media schools. Like, I'm in, like, a lot, and I'm doing a lot. In terms of where I'm at right now, I am going to be trying to volunteer in care homes because I did Lilliput, which was the adult's disability um, theatre group, and I loved helping out there. And I would love now to work in a care home, like making teas, just helping around, talking to the people. I really enjoy that kind of stuff. And especially coming up to Christmas time, I hope that I could do it before then, but after just, you know, just whenever, um, if I could do that, I would love to do that. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I have, coming up to Christmas, I have a few parties I'm going to. Next Saturday, I'm going to a birthday party of my friends, which I'm so excited for. It's going to be so fun. Me and my friends are booking places for New Year's Eve, which is going to be so fun. Um, yeah, just party season is coming up, and I haven't been out partying in a long time. I've been very homebound because I've had a lot of work and I'm kind of just allowing myself to have fun because I have been working extremely hard so I'm kind of allowing from like in like a week's time for like until Christmas mm, January 1st that I can enjoy my time with my friends and not be stressing about work constantly which is what I'm doing right now because I have to meet a deadline at 3 a.m. and it's currently 
1-1-1-1 a.m. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, comment, subscribe. Supporting these vlogmases is so important to me as like a viewer for like what you could do. I put a lot of work into these videos every day and vlogging every day is not easy. And it's definitely a sacrifice that I have to make to do things. I'm loving doing it, don't get me wrong, but it's just nice seeing support on them. So please continue supporting them and supporting the playlist of vlogmas that I have on my channel because I am putting a lot into these. Um, I love you and thanks so much for watching. I'm going to sip on my green tea and bye. I hope you have a great night or morning or afternoon or whenever you're watching this, you know, peace.